And then I had a fun ass discussion with my sister yesterday, and there is a high probability of me getting rid of design in my life soon. Probability. Don't know yet, but the high chance. High chance. So we'll see. We'll see if that happens for now. I mean, didn't come out of nowhere. It came out of years of working in design and being like, that, that pisses me off now. So as in, once again, not the design itself, the design industry and specifically in like startups and companies that are hiring designers because they're friends are telling them that designers or design is important but they have no fucking clue why it is important and so they just like hire designers for the sake of hiring designers it feels sometimes like the disable hires where you need to have a quota of disabled people in your in your company and so you hire disabled people just for the sake of having and meeting the quota which is kind of weird so yeah after 18 years maybe maybe i'm gonna just get rid of it i don't i think i think i could potentially for my own sake just go to 20 years so that it's a nice thing to say like i've been a designer for 20 years and then i moved to <laughs> surprise we'll see you know all that so we'll see so yeah other than that like probably gonna get rid of digital design and go into designing other things and i could 100 quit on you stony don't worry about it that's that's an option and what i want to plan ahead for now as i said there is probably going to be like a two-year period more of digital design and ui and things because i like i kind of need to eat at some point but some of the skills that i have from digital ux ui and also some of the skills that i have from other things that i've done in the past can overlap with this thing that i'm interested in the industry itself the the design industry is good if you find a company that has the interest of designers and and, and a design first view on the thing that they are creating and as i said because the state of things and current state of startups the ceo is not necessarily design oriented like from what i've seen in the past startups that i worked at the ceo the decision makers are sales or devs. Therefore, the sales types are attempting to make things that they are creating as possible as possible. And the dev side are trying to make the things as optimized and good in terms of working condition as possible. But how it looks, both of these entities don't really give a shit. I mean, they do. But if at some point you say something that in order to have a better experience for the user, you need to remove something that is currently converting for the profit person, it would be like a oh no, we can't get rid of that because it's what turns the project into money. We need that. And then on the other end, if you are asking for things that are, okay, so to make the user experience a bit better, we need to add some fun things, some interactions, some activities, micro animations, all of that. The devs side are going to be like, we can't dig that, that's too complex. So with that in mind, design is not really appreciated. So at this point, I don't know. And actually, yeah, I simplified the thing, yes. Design is not on the top of the product making list most of the time, unless the CEO and or one of the decision maker is or has been a designer. And you have two types of designers. You have the physical type. So physical designers, like people that design these things, then it depends how they see the design of things. But then digital designers, if they are in the decision making table, yeah, it's limited. So yeah, then take it. I could do that. I could go back and in an agency. That's that would be an option. Agencies don't pay as much as dedicated designers in startups, which right, it's fine. But still, the thing that I don't understand, and also that's me being capitalistic as fuck. I know that is the minimum income that you should have in your country should be the, like the minimum livable wage, which implies that you have enough to have a place to sleep, enough to eat, and potentially, potentially do other things with friends and shit. But other than that, I don't understand how some companies can say, oh yeah, we'll pay you minimum wage, which is like lower than what you need to be able to pay rent, for example, in the city that you are living in. I don't know. It's kind of weird to me. It's a me thing.